Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then hello. This is Wicked Crafts and today I will be painting in watercolor instead of my usual acrylics. I'm trying to learn watercolor so I keep using it, trying to get used to it. Um, but yeah, today's painting will be Sid Haig from the Rob Zombie movies. He recently passed away and I've been wanting to paint a picture of him. I started a painting of him in acrylics and I haven't finished it yet. I'm still getting in the detail work and everything, but I think it's gonna look really awesome and it's on a really big canvas. I think it's a 16 by 20, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about my watercolor painting, so <laughs> I will stop jabbering so you guys can get on to enjoying how my process of this works. I'm going to speed through the video, but I will add in some tidbits here and there. So I hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, it's Future Editing Me. I am jumping in to let you know that at the beginning of me going through this process, I tried to draw him and epically failed. People ask me all the time, how can you how can you paint the way you do and not draw out the picture? Well, this time I tried to draw it because I see people who do watercolor, watercolor artists that draw out the image first and then they paint it in with the watercolor. Well, I I'm not that great at drawing. <laughs> Sorry, I had my sip of coffee. I start out with his beard. And that I think that was the most enjoyable part of this whole painting was doing his beard. <laughs> Excuse me. It's like really early in the morning and I'm doing this because <laughs> I have homeschooled kids. I homeschool three kids. One eighth grade, one second grade, and one third grade. It's super fun. And they gotta get up soon to start school, so I figured I'd edit this video while I still had time. Yeah, looking at it now, that ear looks really big. <laughs> oh, at the time of recording this, it is November 1st, 2019. Um, I have done two paintings since this one and one of them is Herman Monster and the other one is a skull moon and if you would like to see those paintings you can head over to my Facebook page uh, it's wickedness and it's spelt W one C K three D N E SS. Make sure you get that right. W one C K three D N E S S. And that's a Facebook page that where I post all the paintings that I do because not all of them make it to YouTube. And some people I think some people get nervous when there's a camera on and things don't turn out as great as they would like it to because they're nervous and thinking about the camera and stuff. I spent a lot of time trying to keep my head out of the picture because the camera was above me. <coughs> Excuse me. I really did enjoy doing this painting. I, I was told by a watercolor artist friend of mine that said, and when she saw it, she said, you use watercolors like they were acrylics. <laughs> I, I, I was like, well, you need to teach me how to use these because I'm trying my best here. I'm sorry, taking another sip of coffee.
Okay, so I did want to jump in here and let you know that I wanted to put in the background so I could start shaping out his head because I noticed that with the white face paint that he wears, you really can't see it against the white paper. So I wanted to make it look all spooky and black in the background. So I just kind of streaked it around and used the black to shape his ear out because I didn't like how big it was. So I kind of kind of trimmed it down a little bit <clears throat> but I wanted his I wanted his face to stand out and that was the part I think that I was the most proud of is how his face turned out not the mouth the mouth looks horrible I already know that but his eyes and his his face makeup turned out pretty good oh kitty sorry my kitty come and visit <laughs> Sorry, I keep cutting out. There's, I live on a highway, so there's a lot of traffic in the background, so I'm trying to catch it in between cars. But I was looking up some information on Sid Haig because I was introduced to him by the Rob Zombie movies. I had no idea that he was in the Halloween movie, which I love. Halloween 2000, in 2007. That version. He was Kill Bill 2. He was in that, and let's see, in other movies. Another one that I was surprised by was The Hatchet that came out in 2013. I, 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 what? And Beware of the Blob. I've watched that movie, I don't know how many times. I, wow. I mean, it looks like it's a lot of horror movies. And especially like the 60s and 70s. It looks like that was good times. And a lot of uh, other horror movies here recently too. The Aftermath. Hmm. It's fun to see like old movies that people were played in. Dark Moon Rising, that's 2009, that wasn't that old. And then Bloodbath, Bloodbath was in 1966. I'm sorry about the truck in the background, and here comes another one. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. This Cynthia thing. It's a listed for 2018, and I've never heard of it, but... It looks pretty cool. It looks like something I would watch. <laughs> I'm weird like that. But yeah, he was born July 14th. Oh what, my gosh, that is my aunt's birthday and my, my dad and stepmother's anniversary. <laughs> and he died on September 21st of this year. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, he's a pretty awesome dude. And I love the blue. I don't know what... I just I love the blue. Oh, and in case you were wondering what kind of materials I'm using, I'm using Mozart watercolor. Um, comes in a tin. There's a metal tin that it comes in. It's Mozart. It's the uh, second one that I've ever bought. <sighs> they're not too bad, and they're not chalky. That's the only thing... I'm worried about. They're not really chalking, so. This is me trying to figure out the eyeballs. But yeah, like I said earlier, if you want to see the, whoop, if you want to see the paintings that I've done here after this one, because I don't record all my paintings. Most of them I just post on Facebook. And I don't really put them on Instagram. Because I don't have that many followers. <laughs> but. I just put them on Facebook. So people can see them. I got a lot of friends and stuff that follow me on there. And if you want to. You could just like my page. And set up notifications or whatever. There's also a link to my Etsy shop. But I, I haven't updated my Etsy shop. And so. 
long I need to do that. I'm I'm one of those people who are guilty of not updating their Etsy shop. <laughs> Okay, so I had to cut out the part where I did the lines for the hat because my head was covering up where I was doing it. I had it flipped upside down, as you saw right there. I flipped it back. Um, but yeah, I've tried to record this part twice now because my phone keeps going off. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So I'm just adding more details into his face, trying to shape it up a little bit. This is the first ever painting I've done of a human. The second one was Herman, Mon Herman Monster. God, I can't talk. I only had one cup of coffee. Time for my second. But Herman Monster turned out really good. If you, Like I said, if you guys want to see it, then head over to my Facebook page and check it out. <laughs> My phone just went off again, but luckily I put it on vibrate. <laughs> it's like, stop. <sighs> I hate the mouth. The mouth is just aggravating me. All right, here I am going in and doing the background. Now, I expected this to go a lot easier because it's a watercolor, but it didn't spread like I thought it would. And it messed up my hat because I didn't let it dry. But yeah, I wanted like blood splatters in the background, but that didn't really work out so well for me. <laughs> But I just did the black in the back so you could really see his face and get a feel for his character. I'm hoping to be able to finish the acrylic painting soon. I've just been working on other things because I'm really nervous about the details of this acrylic painting of him. Me trying to be all careful. <laughs> wow. His ear looks bad too. I just noticed that. I didn't really pay much attention to his ear. His face, the overall face, beside his his mouth, it looks it looks good to me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And there goes another. Phone noise.
Alrighty guys, so we are ow, coming to the end of the video. This is where I do the last little bit of touch-ups. I add in some shadows and some shading and I try to fix that mouth. And it doesn't turn out as good as I thought it would, but yeah. This is going to be the end of the video and if you like this video then please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. To see more, I will be trying to upload videos as best I can. Like I said, I am a stay-at-home mom who homeschools three little boys. Well, two little boys and a teenager now. He's now 13. So, yeah. Be patient with me. I will upload videos as soon as I can. And I thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys. Bye.